Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about viral equation. Very important and useful uh, topic related to scattering spectroscopy. And viral equation is very useful for, for our semester exam point of view as well as very important for CSIR net exam point of view because using the formula of viral equation, we can also find out the uh, numerical question uh, from this equation so it is very important for our semester exam as well as very important for CSIR net exam so what is the basic introduction of viral equation it is the equation for determination of intensity of the electron beam so basically this equation is used to uh, to determine the intensity of any electron beam so basically when we strike a when a, a, a electron beam strike a, a jet of molecules then uh, uh, two types of uh, collision are occurs so basically in um, uh, in in uh, above the video we are going to discuss about that but in first point it is determined the intensity of that electron beam which we use to strike a molecule okay second point is electron beam scattered um, through a specific uh, angle by diffraction from a gas molecule okay so electron beam when is uh, electron beam will scattered uh, uh, through um, through gas molecule by diff uh, specific angle by diffraction this is a second important point third important point is when a beam of electron okay when a beam of electron fall a strike on a jet of molecule then two types of collision are occur two types of collisions are occur first is elastic collision which produce coherent scattering second is inelastic collision which produce incoherent scattering this two very important collisions are occur when beam of electron falls or strike on a jet of molecule these are the basic concept of viral equations and some important concept are like uh, in other words when we are uh, understand in very easy language was that so in other words scattering of electron may be divided into two types with uh, in sorry coherent and incoherent so basically uh, uh, like scattering of electron may be divided into two types so coherent scattering may be regarded as made of of two component known as atomic and molecular coherent scattering so coherent scattering may be regarded as made of two components so basically uh, scattering of electron divided into two category first is coherent and incoherent so again in again coherent scattering may be regarded as made of a two component it's uh, atomic first is atomic and second is molecular okay two types of comp uh, two types of components uh, made uh, by coherent scattering it's uh, atomic and molecular okay so the electron diffraction the electron diffraction experiment involve all the three uh, all the three types of scattering all the three types scattering in the sense coherent uh, incoherent and two type of coherent scattering uh, is atomic coherent scattering and molecular coherent scattering it should be noted that incoherent scattering scattering plus the incoherent plus the atomic component of the coherent scattering are responsible for the sharply falling background while the molecular coherent scattering give rise to the con concentric ring okay these two are very important uh, okay so first when we use the atomic component of coherent and incoherent it is very it is very useful and responsible for sharply falling background while uh the molecule coherent okay the molecular coherent second type of co uh, coherent scattering the molecule coherent scattering give rise to concentric ring okay the molecular coherent scattering depend on the structure of molecule okay this is a very important point that the molecular coherent uh, one of the uh, important type of coherent scattering one of the important component of sca uh, coherent scattering is molecular coherent scattering dependent on the structure of the molecule uh now the important part of the video is viral equation so what is viral equation the coherent or elastic scattering is represented by an equation devised by mark and viral in 1930 uh, similar to that applicable to x-ray the intensity of the molecular coherent scattering given by viral equation is so viral equation is i equal to summation of n summation of i equal to one summation of j equal to one uh, psi i psi j sin s x i j upon s x i j its equation first and very important 
is uh, it's also called viral equation okay so this is very important uh, to determine uh, the numerical quotients and important for semester exam where uh, sin 1 and sin i and sin j are atomic number of the uh, i number and j number atom so uh, what is the important of that point is uh, we are uh, in further we take the example of so2 to understand the better concept of that viral equation so uh, psi i and psi j in place of this psi i and psi j are the atomic number of the i and j atoms so i atom is s and j atom is o2 in the example of so2 so uh, so this is the very important point and very important equation of viral equation uh, now the important point is in the above equation s is represented equal to 4 pi sin theta upon 2 upon lambda it's equation 2 okay it is very important part of that viral equation uh, uh, s is represented by this so where lambda equal to wavelength of the electron lambda is represented uh, wavelength of the electron and theta equal to angle between incident and scatter beam applying equation 1 to the so2 molecule we have this are the example of this equation so applying equation 1 to so2 molecule we have i equal to 2 into 16 into 8 sine sx0 minus 0 upon sx0 minus 0 plus 8 into 8 8 into 8 uh, sine sx0 minus 0 upon sine x0 minus 0 these are the equation 3 of that particular uh, equation so i so uh, 16 is atomic number of s and 18 is atomic number of oxygen so why uh, 2 where the factor of 2 arises because the s atom may be paired either of the two oxygen atoms of so2 this uh, this is the um, okay uh, so 2 arises because of this okay because of s made uh, because so2 made by two oxygen atom so now the important method is first is correlation method is also very important method uh, for viral equation so first important method is correlation method when there is an agreement between calculated and experimental adjustment of interatomic distance the method is usually called correlation method very important uh, the definition is very important of this method so when there is an agreement between calculated and experimental adjustment of the interatomic distance the method is usually called correlation method second important method is the radial distribution uh, distribution method uh, in, uh, in in order to interpret the axial diffraction pattern of liquid as well as to obtain structural information without assuming particular trial structure Pauling and Brockway in 1935 introduced a new method known as radial distribution method the radial distribution function dx may be given by okay so the, the radial distribution method of interpretation of electron diffraction photograph by gas molecule so these are the basic introduction of radial distribution method uh, so uh, the the formula or the equation of radial distribution uh, method is also represented by dx equal to sum of k and sin sin uh, s and x upon s and x it's equ equation first the dx may also be written as when uh, we broke the summation so it's also be written as dx the radial distribution method equal to k1 sin s1x upon s1x plus k2 sin s2x upon s2x plus k3 s sin s3x upon s3x plus s number of okay so these are the uh, is also be written the radial distribution method is also written as like that and these are the uh, important equation and important formula of radial distribution method so where dx is plotted against x when when dx is the radial distribution method is plotted against x maxima in dx should occur whenever x corresponds to an interatomic distance moreover the higher the atomic number the greater the maxima okay so this is the complete discuss about the viral equations and the radial distribution method very important for semester exam point of view and csir csir net exam point of view as i before tell i hope this video will helpful to understand the concept of viral equation uh, so thank you so much for watching